Adding up totals in Excel is one of the most frequently performed functions. For this reason, Excel has provided to you the auto sum icon, which exists not only on the home ribbon, the little Greek sigma symbol here, but it also exists under the formulas menu of the ribbon, under auto sum. Now we're going to run a few examples here and I'll show you how beneficial this particular icon is. Uh, also we're going to talk about some helpful features that appear at the bottom of the screen along the taskbar. Here I have a list of values and one cell that contains text. And what we're going to do is we're going to use AutoSum to generate the sum of these numbers to determine the average to identify the maximum value, the minimum value, and the count of items in this list here. Now this is a very simple example, but keep in mind the value of this as it could be applied to a much larger spreadsheet. All right, I'm going to click the cell where I want the result to go, and here I want to calculate the sum. Now I can remain on my home tab of the ribbon, come over here to auto sum. Now pay close attention because this icon has a little narrow drop down arrow to the right. And it has a list of different options you can choose from, including sum, average, counting the numbers in a series, identifying the maximum value as well as the minimum value. Here we're just going to use sum. So I'm going to click there. That's going to go ahead and identify for me what Excel believes to be the range of values that I would like to add. And if it's correct, hit enter. If not, you can always highlight and change the range of cells to be included in your calculation. I'm going to go ahead and remark these values that I want. It brings in the cell references, so it's adding up the values in column E, rows 6 through 10. I hit enter, and that completes the calculation. When I click on that cell containing the result, I can cross-reference the formula in the formula bar. Now, to use AutoSum to determine the average of a series of values, we come back up to that AutoSum icon, click the narrow drop-down arrow, and then select Average. Once again, Excel is going to throw a marquee or a, a border around the range of cells that it believes you'd like to calculate. Now we do not want to include the sum total in our result, so I'm just going to reselect just the cells containing the numbers that I'd like to determine the average for. Once it's grabbed those cell references and brought them into the equation, hit enter and there is your average value of those numbers at top. Now to determine the maximum value in a series of values, click the cell where you want the result to go, come up to your auto sum, click the narrow drop down arrow, and choose max. All right. Once again, we want to identify just the range of cells we want to include in that making that determination. All right. The maximum value in column E rows 6 through 10 only. Enter, and there it is, 300. And that certainly looks correct based on the data that we're working with. How about the minimum value? Click the cell where I want the result to go. Go back up to that multifunction icon again. Click the drop-down arrow and then choose min. Select the range that you're applying that calculation to. Hit enter and there it is. The minimum value is of course 50. Now count. Click the cell where I want the result to go. Come up to your auto sum icon and click count. Now keep in mind that here it says count numbers. So if there is text in the range of cells that you're including, it will ignore any cells that contain text. Click there and just to demonstrate for you, I will also select the cell that contains the text, the word text. All right, enter and it says there are five numbers in that range and in fact there are. 50, 100, 150, 200, 300. It did not include the cell containing the text in it because that's not a number. Now, to take a look at one of the helpful, handy features of the status bar across the bottom of our screen, I'm going to highlight 
these numbers that I was working with. Now take a look down at the status bar. As soon as you have a range of cells selected, it will automatically give to you certain information, including the average of the selected cells, the count. Now it's important to keep in mind that this count is different than the count up on the auto sum icon. The count on the auto sum icon only counts numbers. The count below can, counts the cells that contain any form of data, including text. So if I select the cell containing the word text also, it gives me six. So it's actually counting the non-blank cells. And the sum of the cells I've selected is 800. Now to get to the features or to identify which options present themselves down here in the status bar, right click down there. This brings up this long menu here. We're just going to focus on this area here. Anything that has a check mark beside it like average, count, and sum will automatically appear on your status bar at the bottom of your screen. If you like to also include, for example, minimum and maximum, click them to check them off and you'll see they will then appear at the bottom of your screen. Notice that there is an item here for numerical count as opposed to regular count. So if you want to count just the numeric values in a range of data, you can check numerical count off as well. Clicking back on my spreadsheet, it will then show me each of these items, the average among the selected cells, the count altogether of non-blank cells, the numerical count, which includes just the cells that contain numeric values, the minimum value, the maximum value, and the sum of the selected values. Now notice when I click off of my range, that information goes blank on the status bar. When I click back over it, it will quickly establish the values of the items that I select. It changes dynamically. So if you have a lot of data and maybe you do not have formulas or functions plugged into your Excel spreadsheet yet, you can use this uh, just for a quick cross-reference to see where you're at in terms of any of these features. Hopefully this overview of the AutoSum was helpful for you.